take your circle and shove it. So um, here we have a circle. Now what we did before was we drew, so before you guys understood when we were talking about tangent lines, and maybe I'll pick on somebody, Asia. If I have a circle. I thought you said Asia, not Asia. Asia, if I have a circle and I draw two tangent lines, how do these two tangent lines compare? How do their lengths compare? If I have, from a point, two tangent lines go into a circle, how do these two lengths compare? They're exactly the same, right? When you have two tangent lines, those are going to be congruent. That's what we talked about last class period. So now, let's talk about, what about if I have two secant lines? It's OK. You can draw another circle, because that was just old notes that I said from last one. So let's say we have two secant lines. Now remember the difference between a secant line um, and a tangent line was a secant line crosses the circle twice. right? It has going to have two points, where a tangent only has one, and it's perpendicular um, to the circle. So let's go ahead and call it these points. Let's call this A, B, C, D. It's very similar, ladies and gentlemen, to when we had two chords interior, like we just did. Guess what? The product of these is also equal to one another. Okay, So just like when you guys had two chords, it's similar when you have two secant lines. Isn't that cool?